quick rock paper scissors game. I'm not gonna be anything fancy, no graphics library or anything. So let's just start. So rock paper scissors. I made a comment. So let's. All right. So what do we need? Uh, well, we need scoring and the choices, right? Rock paper scissors. So let's just do player one score initialize that to zero. Player two score will also not sh initialize that to zero. And the choices are rock, paper, and scissors. So I'm just going to store it in a list. And we'll call it RPS. So RPS, rock, paper, scissors. You know, just make some comments. P1 is player 1. P2 is player 2. Just in case people don't know. So we have rock. With type of paper, scissors. All right, so I think that's all we need, right? Let's begin our game while true. And we'll ask for an input. Actually, let's just print something. Starting rock, paper, scissors. All right, play one move. Let's just do an input. Make your move. All right, that's good. So here, we have RPS, the choices, rock, paper, scissors. Um, they're, all, they're all type strings, so we want to make sure our input is of the type string. Otherwise, we'll, we have the input is invalid, so we'll have to break out of the game. So if it's instance, we want move and string. And if it is, we have to check if it's in the choices, right? So if p1 move dot lower, actually, you know what? I will just automatically make it p1 move dot lower. This will set. So let's say you enter like all caps or you know mix them up a bit. They're they're correct spelling, but um. Python will, you know, recognize it as equal to rock, so we'll just convert the input to all lower cases. And then, is that all we need? We just check. Else, break, right? Actually, before that, we want to make sure that it's a, a, the input is, even though it's a string, we want to make sure the choice is either rock, paper, scissors. So after we convert it to lower, we'll do if p1 move not in RPS, we just break out too. All right, good. We have the conditions set up. So now we have player two move, and we'll just do we'll have player two select one of these. So why don't we just use the random library? And then do the random that choice RPS. All right, so if P1 move equals P2 move, that means they're the same. So we just print tie. Else, if P1 move it is a rock, and if P2 move scissors then we'll increment player one score right rock beats scissors so plus equal one then we'll say print uh, player player one chooses uh, p1 move and then we can also do uh, player two chooses P2 move and we can say print player one beats player two, right? Rock beats paper, I mean rock beats scissor, sorry. And else, so in this case, else would be paper because we already checked if they're the same and here we checked if it's scissors, so player one is rock, so the remaining is paper.
So else, and we can just copy that over. Instead of player one score increments, player two score increments. So player two beats player one. And then next we check if P1 move. Actually, you know what? We can just copy and paste all this two more times and just change up some things. All right. So if player one move is paper, player two move is rock. Paper beats rock, right? Nothing changes really. Then we have scissors. And then over here we have uh, paper. There we go. Right? Rock, scissors, paper, rock. All right. And it looks like we're done with the game, actually. So we'll just, why don't we display the score at the end of each round? So player one, score, and then P1 score. Player 2 score, P2 score, and after we break out of the game, we can just say print game over, and then we can, perhaps we can make one more print statement, uh, if player 1 score greater than p2 score, right, print player 1 wins, else, elif, p2 score less than p1, it's greater than p1 score, print player 2 wins, and then we just have an else statement, print I neither player wins. So why don't we test our game? So star rock paper scissors. Uh, I'll put the paper. I choose paper scissors. Uh, I lost that one. So how about rock? Rock beats scissors. So we're both even. And then I'll just use rock again. And I lost that one. So increments. And then scissors. Spell it like this. Yep. Tie. So we both chose scissors. And then paper. And then I'll hit, I'll just put zero, right? It's invalid, so it breaks. But player two wins, and that's it.